Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk. This week we're joined by Chandre Jones. Hey Chandre. How you doing? Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for jumping on. We'll launch right into the, some fans' questions here. How was year two in the G League compared to year one? Uh, year two was great, honestly, because I kind of I kind of knew what I was getting myself into, you know. So I had I had my legs under me a little bit. I kind of knew what to expect. So uh, everything kind of hit me, and I kind of was prepared for everything. So I really enjoyed year two. When playing one on one, who has been your toughest matchup? Hmm. From 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 this year. Any year, yeah. Any- uh, nobody, cover. nobody. Everybody, everybody's scared to play me one on one. Ice around. You know I'm saying it's real. Everybody get real scared when I say let's play some ones. You're probably too quick. Yeah, you know, you know, you know how you know how that go, man. Everybody kind of scared to play me one on one. Do you still head up Richmond? I'm I'm actually in Richmond right now. No. Yeah. So much. I love I love I love coming home. Uh, just just here seeing some family, you know. Uh, making sure everybody's good because I'm, I'm actually from Richmond. So just checking on everybody, making sure everybody's good. Uh, what are you doing this summer? This summer? Really? I'm really going to lock in this summer. Uh, I plan on changing my body a little bit, gaining some gaining some muscle mass this summer. Uh, gym three, four times a day. Really just trying to lock in. I also have a, a mental health business that I'm starting up uh, doing in-home clinician work. So uh, that and basketball probably pretty much take up all my time. What's the name of this uh, network or the startup? Uh, AOC Outreach. Uh, I definitely have the link in my bio just in case anybody would like to uh, check that out. So mental health, is that like a big passion for you or just yeah, follow an opportunity? It's, 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 a, uh, it's a growing problem in the world right now. And uh, I think, I think with, with, with me playing basketball, I can kind of uh, express that and, and get that that illness uh, to the masses. So I really, I really would like to see people uh, care more about their mental health and uh, get treated for it. It's a, it's a growing problem in the world. Sure. Have you picked up any hobbies during this pandemic? What's so funny about that question is during quarantine, we couldn't really get to the gym as much. So I bought a piano, a keyboard, and I've been, I've been slowly but surely trying to learn how to play. So yeah. far, it's not going the best, though. <laughs> did you uh, are you taking lessons or are you just training yourself online online lessons online lessons that old yeah. youtube mrs youtube yep youtube lessons <laughs> uh what shows or movies would you recommend to us okay so i'll give you guys my favorite movies uh my favorite movies is uh above the rim with uh with tupac and uh and Marlon Wayans, uh, that's my favorite movie of all time. So I would definitely say watch that movie. It's a basketball movie as well, so that's great. Lately, i actually been watching uh, a show that really surprised me. It's kind of funny. It's called Parks and Recreation. I've been yeah. watching that a little bit lately, and I kind of I kind of, I kind of like that show. I also watched The League. They just stopped, they just stopped uh, airing, but that's a really funny show to me. Yeah, Parks and Rec is hilarious. It's low-key like The Office. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Uh, do you play much video games? Just started playing video games during the quarantine. Uh, I've been I've been trying to play Call of Duty. Uh, I'm not quite ready to play my teammates like 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 Kelgen and and Harp and those guys yet. But I'm trying I'm trying to build my skill level up. What are you playing with? PlayStation, or Xbox? PlayStation, PlayStation, of course. Gotcha. Uh, what's your favorite food? Favorite food. I love potatoes, but my favorite food is shrimp. I love shrimp. Cajun seasoned shrimp, for sure. I just got a few more here for you. Who do you try to mirror your game after? Okay, so my favorite player of all time is Al Iverson. So everything I do, I kind of try to try to do something similar to him. Uh, our games is kind of different, but also I like C.J. McCollum's game. What's the secret to throwing the perfect alley oop? Uh, somebody that can jump. Anybody that can jump can catch an alley oop. Cause if I'm if I'm throwing it, it's gonna get there. You pretty much just throw it to the rim. Throw it. I throw it for different people. I throw it different places. For Dax, I used to throw it to the corner of the backboard because he likes to glide. For somebody like Kelgen, I throw it high because he goes off one leg. Uh, it just depends on the guy. 
So it really does. You you need to practice. You need to, to mesh with that teammate in order to. to uh, I would that. say that a little bit of that, and a little bit of just being a point guard and knowing how your guys like to jump. All right, two more. What's the best part of the NBA G League? The experience. There's a lot of talented guys. A lot of talented guys. You're playing a lot of a lot of different games back to back in a lot of different cities, and just to, to be able to compete against that 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 the talent that's there is the best part. And last one we got for you. What's your plan next season? Not sure yet. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of rolling with the punches right now. Everything is kind of in limbo right now with the whole COVID situation. So depending on how that play out, is is going to depend on how the, the summer goes. And uh, I don't know at the moment. Gotcha. Sounds good. All right, that's all I have for you. Thanks for joining us, Andre. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me, man. You you did a great job. I don't think you get enough praise for the, for the great job that you do. I appreciate it. Yeah, but that's all about you guys. Thanks to you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, all right, man. take care. Thank you.